everyone. I'm Shannon Slatten. This is Thomas Hollingsworth Park. It's a quiet place without a playground or a ball field. The Hollingsworth family says this is a special place for them. The youngest son Ryan lives in Florida now and he says no matter where he may go, it's good to know his father's memory is still here in this place. I had a lot of friends, family uh, that always would drive by and, and you know shoot you a message or something, say, "Hey, driving by your dad's park." Scott Hollingsworth keeps a photo of his dad around. In it, his dad is holding a fish that's almost as big as Scott was. And he really loved his family. He wanted to do everything and everything to make the family great, and that's that's what I do remember from him. Scott was nine years old when his father decided to stop at the fire station one night. We were coming back from a, a hockey game or a hockey practice. I can't remember which one it was, but. He he just ran by the station and he said, well, I got to run and see what was happening and then that, and that night happened. So January 17, 1984, 17 below zero. So. 30 plus years later, Tom Sipe, who was fire chief then, remembers it all. 715 at night. There was a house on fire on McNair Drive. It was dark and the house was built, was was actually breathing. And what happens is it was ready to go. Firefighters didn't know if anyone was inside, and Tom Hollingsworth was the type of guy who wanted to be the one to check it out. We called him Holly, and he was always there. He wanted to be where the action was. And so he was an interior man. But so many things went wrong on that night. And so I came up, he says, what's the problem? He said, they're running out, they ran out of air. Thomas Hollingsworth gave his air supply to someone else and didn't make it out. And there isn't one of those guys, you know, and even when Holly was down there, I, everybody wanted to go. More than 800 people attended Hollingsworth's funeral, and more than 100 fire trucks were in the funeral procession from Robbinsdale to Fort Snelling. Tom Sipe was a pallbearer. You know, I've lived through it. I, I lost 10, 15 pounds. It almost broke me. The incident has been recorded in books, and other firefighters have learned from what happened to Thomas Tollingsworth. I still talk to guys and they'll bring up, hey, we did a training, and we did a training because of your, your father mm -hmm. and what he went through. Lessons that Brandon Hollingsworth, who was almost five when his father died, learned too. He's been a firefighter for Brooklyn Park yep. for 10 years. It was a big step in my life, you know, I mean, not only to honor my, my family's name, but for myself, to do it for myself. Brandon keeps his father's badge here and the nameplate from his dad's locker. He, like his brothers, has a tattoo of his father. He feels the same tug to family and firefighters that his dad did too. I think that was, you know, his legacy was that, you know, he was willing to do whatever he needed to do to obviously support his family, but support his family at the fire department too. Shortly after Thomas Hollingsworth passed away, the city moved quickly to rename a portion of Lakeview Terrace Park in memory of the fallen firefighter. Not much has changed here since then until another local family got involved.